Good morning. Uh, thank you so much for joining this webinar. My name is Asia Stupart, and I am the MIFA Pathway Program Coordinator. Uh, today, we'll take about 10 to 15 minutes going through uh, the exciting feature called the Investigate Your Future within MIFA Pathway. And we'll talk about how those four exciting activities can help students plan for their future. Um, and just a quick note that this webinar is being recorded, and that's just to allow uh, me to send a link to this webinar um, after uh, we conclude. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out um, to us and we'll be sure to answer those questions as well. So MIFA Pathway is a free and interactive uh, platform designed for students in grades six through 12 to help them plan for post-secondary success. Um, it's very engaging and it's all designed with students in mind as we know that the path for students is, is not one size fits all. So we have exciting and um, content that's geared to those students. So I'm on mithapathway.org. I'm going to click, I am a student, and for first time users, students will want to uh, register for an account. The registration process includes the student providing their name, date of birth, uh, what school they go to. And then they'll also want to provide security questions and answers to those questions. If you are working with a student that does have uh, an account, the student is encouraged to log in using their username. Um, another great benefit to Meet the Pathway is for uh, Meet the Pathway affiliate schools. You can take advantage of Clever integration. And if you're not familiar with Clever, Clever enables single sign-on. So it really allows the student to log in via the Clever gallery or even through clicking on logging with Clever on MithaPathway.org. If I, if, since I have an account, I'm gonna log in using my username and password. And here we are on Zoe's dashboard. I can see that Zoe is in the 10th grade. I can see the activity bars. And here we have different activities and uh, steps that she can take to stay on track, whether that's to update her profile, uh, create a resume, review her course plan. There are a variety of activities designed for Zoe to complete um, per the grade that she is in. We also have on the landing page the, an exciting video series that we did pre-COVID where we interviewed students across the Commonwealth that, that went to a Mitha Pathway affiliated school to understand um, how they're using Mitha Pathway, and especially for seniors, how it's helping them plan for college or career. And we also have a scholarship um, on the landing page as well that students can apply to and learn more about. So to get to the investigate your uh, future, I'm going to click on discover careers right at the top. And I'm going to then click on uh, investigate your future. Now investigate your future includes four different activities, all the labor market information and all the labor, labor market data is sourced directly with um, burning glass technologies. So these four activities all are designed to help students kind of understand about the data within certain careers, trends, uh, growth potential, and which occupations to pursue. The first activity is now trending that allows students to view the top trending skills and occupation in today's market, as well as the companies that are hiring. Looking ahead allows students to explore current and forecasted in-demand career opportunities. Popular places allow students to discover the places in the country with the highest concentration of jobs and skills. And last but not least is career path that allows students to explore different paths that they may might want to follow to reach their desired career. 
I'm going to start at now trending. Give it a second to load. Okay, this is now trending. Students are able to filter by location and by career category. So for example, you can select Massachusetts. And we can see all the career skills and companies hiring that relate to Massachusetts. But let's say the student you're working with wants to see the career category as well as location being Massachusetts, they can filter uh, through the drop down. So I'm going to select uh, education and training. And we can see that these are the careers, the skills, and companies hiring that relate to uh, this particular now trending. Students, if they see a career that they uh, like or are interested in, they can um, search for jobs on LinkedIn, they can see the career path, and they can also heart the career by um, doing that, and it, it'll save automatically. Next, we have popular places. Popular Places allows the student to select a career category. So I'm going to do community social services. And the student's able to see across the US the uh, highest concentration of jobs and skills. So red is greater than 10,000 jobs and blue would be less than 2,500 jobs. So if we go back to Massachusetts, we can see that these are all the careers currently uh, that are in popular places. And again, the student can heart the career that they might find interesting. They can just you know, know more about the career also by selecting the career and it'll give them more information about the career. They can view information such as education level, wages, and if they want to see more information, they can do that by selecting the more information button. Next, we have looking ahead. So looking ahead allows the student again to view jobs that are currently in demand and then uh, future growth. So for example, we see that computer program, computer programmers is a job that's currently in demand. You can view information about the career. Again, you can save it. And then we can also see careers that you know, relate to future growth projected through 2028. Example, we have registered nurses. And then we're going to change the category, say finance, and then we can put Massachusetts. So this is just a nice way for students to be able to see the careers or the jobs that are in demand and as well as a future growth potential for that particular career and just the colors and the use of um, how everything is displayed within MISA pathway is very exciting and um, very helpful for students is one thing that we're hearing from is that they like how everything is colorful it's interactive and um, easy to use. Last but not least, we have our career path. So the career path is one of our newest activities within Investigate Your Future. And this allows students to basically, <clears throat> basically start with a career in mind. Let's say, oops. let's say that they want to um, want to pursue a particular category or occupation. They can do that by selecting from the drop down finance as an example. Oops, let me go back. That. Let's see finance. 
occupation. <clears throat> second okay so with the career path students are able to visualize their career so if their target or their career that they're working for working towards is credit analysts they can see the stepping stones of, of other careers that are can help them get into their target occupation the orange blocks are similar careers. So it's um, a career that's in the same occupation group and typically they compensate uh, similarly. So for example, if the student was a loan officer, it's not exactly like a credit analyst, but it is in the same bucket, same group rather as a credit analyst. The blue, blo blue boxes are advancement careers. So these careers are in the same occupation group, but typically compensate more. And the great thing about the career path is that students can change their career either on the left side or the right side, and it'll show them different options. So for example, if they wanted to do uh, marketing, and then maybe they've thought about uh, getting into human resources as an example. They can see all the careers that just got added to their path. Similarly, students can also change a career. You know, that students may have an idea in mind, but they may think, oh, I don't want to do that. Instead, I want to do, um, you know, maybe fashion design or uh, marketing or whatever the career they have in mind, they can simply change the career category. It's very easy to do. And I'll show you that as an example. <clears throat> and they want to work in concierge. So we can see that these are the stepping stones. These are careers that are similar and these are um, advancement careers. All right. And then another great thing I'll mention too um, is that when a student finds a career within the Investigate Your Future, they can save the careers to their career list. And I'll show you the career list. And this career list is nice because it allows the student, as they learn about occupations that are interesting to them, they can save it to their career list. And if they find that there's a career that they is not interested in, they can easily remove it from their list, but they can also see, you know, education level, they can get a description about the career. So it's a nice repository of exciting careers that students can take advantage of and if they want to formulate a plan of careers that they, you know, majors that they might study in college, it's nice that they have it all in here in one place. I'm just going to check and see if we have any questions. So we have a question about, do we know how current the job, current job opportunities are? Do they reflect the pandemic employee shortages or might it be prior to the pandemic? That's a great question. So all of our, all of the labor market data is sourced through burning glass technologies. So it should be updated as Possible, relevant as possible and as current as possible. Um, we make sure we're burning glass technologies, make sure that you know the data is is updated. So yes, the um, current job opportunities are are current. Do we have any other questions? All right. Well, thank you so much for joining. I hope you all have a great day. Um, I'll be sending the recording link to you. And if you have any questions and you want to learn more about MIFA Pathway, please feel free to let us know and we'll um, stay in touch. Great. Have a nice day.